What's going on guys? So if you're like me, you've been hungry for an iPhone 5 or iOS 6 untethered jailbreak for quite some time now. And although there isn't one out yet, for those of you who still want a little customization for your iPhone, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily change your carrier logo without a jailbreak. So right now this only works if you're on a Mac. Um, a Windows version may be available in the future. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Yes, this will work on any iPhone, um, on any carrier. It doesn't matter if you're on AT&T or Verizon or whatever. Um, this also works with the iPad with 3G or 4G support. Um, it doesn't work with any other iPod Touch or iPad. Um, you have to be connected to some sort of wireless carrier like AT&T or Verizon for this to work. So uh, like I said, it's not going to work on the iPod Touch or the uh, iPad without 3G support. You have to be connected to some sort of network. And uh, if you couldn't tell already, um, this is my iPhone 5. Um, as you can see, hopefully you guys will be, uh, will be able to tell. But uh, yeah, I do have the little uh, Batman logo right there instead of the AT&T. So the first thing that you have to do uh, in order to do this is go ahead and head on over to your computer and download the program called Carrier Editor. I'll have the download link somewhere in the underbar so you guys can download it. Um, it's going to be a DMG image, so go ahead and open it up. And uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is head on into CarrierEditor.app. Open it up here, and uh, the first thing that it asks you to do is uh, just go ahead and hit the Let's Get Started button. And the first thing that we need is the carrier version number. And in order to find this, head on back to your iDevice here. And what we're going to want to do is go into Settings, and then General, and About. And the carrier version number is down here on the bottom where it says Carrier. Whatever carrier you're on, whether it's AT&T or Verizon, like I said, it doesn't matter. But there should be a number, whether it's 13.1 or 13.2 or 13.5. Whatever number you see here is what you need to type in. Now, keep in mind, it's going to be um, unique to your device, to your network. Uh, it also depends on where you're at, what region, what area of the country, or what part of the world you're from. So you can't just type in any number. It has to be what you see on your iDevice. So head on back to your computer here and type in whatever version number you saw, and then go ahead and hit next. Now, the next thing that it's going to ask is some information about the device you're trying to change. So, um, I am doing it on the iPhone. Like I said, it also works on the iPad with 3G or 4G support. And it's also going to ask for your carrier. Um, a lot of carrier options here. Uh, just go ahead and choose whatever carrier your iDevice is on. And then go ahead and hit next. Now, this is where you get to choose whatever image you want. Um, you'll notice that you need to drag and drop uh, some sort of image onto these little squares. And uh, you're probably thinking, where can I get these images? Well, in the program itself, we do have a folder called Zeppelin. And logos go ahead and open that up and you'll see a few different options here these came from the zeppelin city tweak that was released a long long time ago that allowed you to uh, change your carrier logo so you'll have a whole bunch of options here. I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one. And uh, all you have to do, like I said, is drag and drop whatever image you want. Um, it doesn't really matter what image you choose. Every um, every folder has two images. It doesn't matter which one goes on where. They, uh, which one goes on where. Um, it doesn't matter. They all look the same. They all look great. So it doesn't matter if it's on the black and what image is on the black one or what image is on the silver and blue one. Like I said, it doesn't matter. It's personal preference, really. You can fiddle around with it, but they all look great um, no matter what style as far as what image you choose from. So once you have the image that you want, all you have to do is hit compile carrier update. And uh, what it's going to do is it's going to put these two uh, new kind of pieces of paper on your desktop. Uh, they should be .ipcc files. One of them is going to be the original IPCC file. This is going to be the original carrier logo that was on your iDevice. So this is going to be the one that either says AT&T or Verizon or whatever the original um, whatever the original logo was. I would highly recommend keeping this just in case you need to restore your iDevice or take it into Apple or take it into to, to the phone store, whatever you need to do. Um, this is going to be the original one and you should be able to uh, change back if you upload this one. Um, this one right here, whatever version you typed in, uh, whatever carrier, whatever region, and whatever number, this is going to be the custom one. This is going to be the one that we're going to use. So uh, all you have to do is go ahead and open up iTunes. Tunes. So once iTunes is open, go ahead and connect up your iDevice, let it sync, let it back up just in case. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is hold down the options key on your keyboard and hit restore iPhone. And don't worry, we're not restoring anything. We're not, you're not going to lose anything by doing this. All you have to do is point it to the new um, AT&T US version 3.2 or whatever, uh, whatever new carrier uh, icon is on your desktop. Not the original one, the one right above it, uh, whatever number you typed in, whatever carrier you're on. Um, go ahead and click on that and then hit open. And once you do that, you should see 
a brand new uh, carrier icon on your iDevice. Um, if you don't have any issues, it should just automatically do it. No respring, no reboot. Um, you should slide to unlock and see the brand new uh, carrier logo on your iDevice. So uh, this is what it will look like. Like I said, you got the nice Batman logo on your iDevice now. Um, and whatever you chose should pop up automatically. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you ran into any issues, any problems, if you have any questions at all, post them down below. I'll do my best to answer all the questions and help you guys out. Hit the thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed. Also hit that subscribe button for future uh, Apple videos and future jailbreak videos. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later.